How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. And today we're gonna bear fruit on that idea that we had uh, planted a while ago uh, about the classy strikeout guys. So we have classy thatch. This skin was added to the game just a few days ago. And as soon as I saw the classy thatch I was like, oh, we already have a classy Roland. You know, if I had one more person, we could do a classy strikeout. And then some of you guys actually mentioned uh, some good legend skins that I could use for the third. One of them was Gentleman Wuxiang. Now, this one doesn't have classy in the name, but as you can see, it is very classy looking. And then from the same chest that this one is from, which I think is called the Royal Order chest, we also have Madame Yumiko, which obviously is super classy. She's so classy that she's not even opening her eyes. And then we have, uh, uh, what is that last one? Admiral Isaiah, which is in the same chest as the other two. The only thing is, I don't really consider this a classy skin. I mean, yes, he is classy, but he's an admiral. Admiral is more like a, uh, it's, it's, it's a military position. So he's, he's just a military dude in a military armor, which looks really nice and classy, I agree. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use uh, those other first four skins that I mentioned. So we're going to go ahead and start it out with the classy uh, Sir Roland. Beautiful. You can only get this skin during Valhallentines in February, I believe. And then we have classy Thatch, and then we're going to go ahead and end it with uh, Gentleman Wuxiang. I have every color for these legends except Skyforge and Goldforge. So we'll go ahead and start it out with the... I wish I could do default colors in and strike out for some reason won't let you so we'll do charged og hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be uh i've been playing brahalla for a while here this morning and kicking some butt man i've actually beat some really good people not gonna drop names don't want to embarrass anybody but want some pretty good games going against snap crackle pop of course as soon as i say that i'm gonna lose horribly but <laughs> I'll try to win. We got so many classy looking skins on our team this morning. Home run, baby. Ooh, man, I got him right in the side, right where he stopped his ground pound. Oh, I want to hit with that horse so bad. All he has to do is jump once. There it is, see? Jump once. And that is all it takes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why would you throw away your gauntlets, bro? Never mind. He's good. Never mind. He's not good. <laughs> oh, man. Ow. I was really trying to uh, down air, and I did a side air instead. He could have punished me there with a neutral air. GG, dude. GG, as always. All right, so that was a three stock, baby. We're going to go ahead and start out with uh, Thatch, then go to uh, Wuxiang, and then we're going to finish it out with Madame Yumiko, baby. Yumiko. You know what? I might throw uh, Isaiah, Admiral Isaiah in there with the classy anyways, just because I want to level him up. <laughs> He's only like level 12 or something. And I want to get every legend to black colors. So I might throw in Admiral Isaiah. I mean, he's in the same exclusive chest as these other two classy skins. And he does look really classy. He's even got the monocle. So if he's got a monocle, I have to include him, right? Bombs away, boy. Go get your weapon. Oh, 
Bombs away, boy! You can't be chilling next to the edge. I should have done it standing up here. It would have looked more epic. Bombs away? Oh, I didn't get him that time. Oh boy, put that spirit bomb away before you hurt yourself. Oh, guys, you notice the sword I'm using? The Gilded Lily. This sword actually doesn't come with the uh, skin, but I think it looks even more classy than the, than the sword that does come with this skin. This is one of the few weapon skins that you can only get by buying it by itself in the item, sh in the item store. Oh my goodness, I went right into that. Rip the three stock dream. But now we get to use Wushong. Oh man. Pop. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty decent with Wushong, so I I'm Pop. I think we could win this. GG dude, GG. Especially his gauntlets. Wushong gauntlets. Matter of fact, GG dude, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it out with Wushong this time, just to showcase, and then we'll go to Madame Yumiko, and yes, I guess I will use Admiral Isaiah, it is, I mean, he has a monocle, I can't, I can't argue the monocle, if you got a monocle, you're automatically classy, everybody knows that, so I have to include him, oh, what a calculated bomb throw by Lucian, that was awesome. Oh man, you guys are really giving me a lot of support. Support as always. I really appreciate that, guys. It, it definitely makes my day when I see you guys dropping those likes and commenting on my videos. I do read every single comment, so thank you guys. It's been a long time. I've been playing Brawlhalla for a long time, making videos for years. Feels feels good that we have grown so so big when we had such humble beginnings. And mostly all from just a simple game. Although I will say that I have grown my channel originally from Dark Souls, Terraria, uh, Bloodborne, a lot of other games. But it really didn't take off until I started doing Brawlhalla content. So I really appreciate that, guys. And I'm going to be doing Brawlhalla for as long as it stays interesting to me and you. You know? Because eventually it may die out. But I do plan on doing a... Uh, I gotta stop talking because I'm not focusing. I do plan on doing a Terraria series when they come out with the new patch because I have made lots of Terraria videos in the past and some of them were actually very, very popular. So I might get back into that a little bit, we'll see. Um, but for the most part, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this channel other than Brahalla. Still waiting for a really good, fun, big game that I could, you know, get into. I was trying to do Chase Dodge into, uh, recovery. I'm still alive, dude. Yep, no I'm not. Thor is a really strong character. I, If I was not talking that whole time, I probably could have 3 stock, but we're not going to go there. It didn't happen, so now I got to use Yumiko. Hey Thor, how you like this hammer? It's got a key in the hammer. It's actually the key to Yumiko's house. Oh my gosh! The triple ground pound! Why would you do that to me Thor? That was a bully move. Alright Isaiah, time to shine baby. Show them why I picked you. 
Yeah, that's right. You're dead. You're dead. You killed yourself, but I'm still gonna give it credit to me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm feeling it, guys. We're going to win this one. Boom! There it is, dude. I knew he would dodge right. I just do a chase dodge into neutral sig, and he's dead. GG, dude. GG. That was pretty close. Alright, uh, I did Yumiko and Injustice right there. I died way too fast. We're going to start it out with Madame Yumiko. Her eyes are open. She is fully awakened, and now she's pissed off, too. So we're going to win with her. And then I'm going to go to Classy Roland just in case that don't work out and finish it all the way back up with Classic Dutch. I do home team colors. These ones look really classy. Alright, we're going against that one random guy. I'm pretty sure I've uh, fought this guy a lot of times in the past. Three, two, one, crawl. That one random guy. Sidra's pretty classy, too, for a pirate. Come on, Thatch. Or right, Sidra. Boom! Got him with that little baby Russian Mafia there. Hey, Zol. It's a beautiful day. Oh, I knew he was going to try to do that, and I thought if I got mine off first, it would be able to beat it. Boop, because I kind of float above. Yeah. Are we going to get that three stock with Yumiko, boys? I'm smelling the three star, boys. I'm, it smells good. Never mind. Sometimes you get that really good smell when you're walking by a restaurant, but you just don't have the money to go in and get that food. It smelled really good, though. Home run? Yep. For the win, too. GG, dude. GG. Alright, I'm gonna do one more game here. And we're gonna go with uh, Thatch to start it out. And then we're gonna go to Isaiah and we'll finish it off with Wushan. Going against Green Watch Guy, playing with Ragnir, Bryn, and Artemis. By the way guys, if you are new to the game and you're looking for people to play with, feel free to join my Discord server, the Sword Cord. Link in the description of the video. Tons of people in there to party up with. Some of them even willing to give you some tips and pointers if you're looking for that kind of thing. Dude, this guy's actually pretty good. I gotta actually focus a little bit here. Don't mind the lawnmower going off right behind me. Mm. 
My lawn guy decides to show up right when I'm recording. Oh, Thatch, that was such an epic duel between the classy Thatch and the base Ragnar. Isaiah's here to kick some butt. Gotcha. Oh, I love that move. You basically have to aim where they're not, but where they're gonna be. That's why it feels so good when you actually hit it. That was a poor choice of move there, Bryn. Well, you got back anyways. Oh! Oh, they get kicked in the face! Isaiah Dude, this is such a good battle. Isaiah is actually really fun. GG dude, GG. Isaiah came in the clutch for me there, man. I'm, I'm normally pretty bad with Isaiah, so that was pretty pretty dope. Although it looks like Thatch is taking all the credit. <laughs> Anyways, GG's guys, GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, some classy 1v1 games. As always guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy guys.